video will show how to use the pen tool in Illustrator. You'll see there's a curvature tool and also the pen tool. We will be using the pen tool. You can use the magnifying glass to zoom in. You can also hold the space bar on your keyboard which you'll see turns your cursor into a hand which allows you to grab and drag so that you can center wherever you're working. On the pen tool for this exercise, you're going to have the template layer locked and you're going to be working on the layer marked as working layer. If you don't see a layer, you can go to window and select layers. When there's a check mark next to it, that means it's showing. Um, you're going to be clicking in the center of the numbers. So in this one, you're going to be making an evergreen tree. Um, so instructions are here, so I'm going to click in the one. Holding down the shift key, you can see I'm going to click shift now and it straightens my line. So that constrains your line to a straight line on a diagonal. Um, so in this one, I'm going to click to the center of the two. And then when I click shift, it's going to make sure that my line is straight to the three. I click, come off of shift, now I can go down to the 4, hold down shift, it's going to make sure it's a straight line. You can see as I try to move around it stays in 15 degree radius, so shift over, let go of shift, click down to the 6, hold down the shift to the 7, hold down shift to 8, hold down shift to 9, hold down shift to 10. Hold down shift to 11, come off, diagonal to 12, hold down shift to 13, lift up, 14, hold down shift to 15, let go of shift. Now, to close a shape, you can see when I put my cursor back over my original first point, I now get a little circle, which means close shape. When I click that, I now have a shape. So, a key thing with the pen tool. Um, when I click my pen tool right now, I have my fill, which is my top solid, as a line going through it, which means nothing, and my color stroke as black. You might have white selected. If you have white as you try to make a shape, it will be filled with white. You can see like this. If you select your shape, double click where you have your fill. Um, Actually, you can just select this icon here and give it no fill. So for this exercise, when you turn that in, I want to be able to see the template behind it and that you have a black line, one point stroke, black, um, following the outline. So that's the straight lines. Okay, to do curved lines, you're going to be using the Option or Alt key on your Mac. So this says click and press and you hold down your shift. So click, shift, I haven't let go, and you can see I have handles. These are the handles coming off. My handle is gonna go to the number two. Actually, I'm going to rotate them this way. So you can see that sometimes even um, professionals uh, have to try several times to get um, points to go the way they want. So I've clicked. Now I'm going to press the Alt key so that I get the handle and bring it out to two. Still going to the left, and I want it to go to the right. So if I rotate again, there we go. So, if you're finding that when you click and shift and shift out, 
When you try to click again, your curve is on the wrong side. You'll want to hold down your Alt option over a handle and switch it. Actually, you'll want to click and then Alt option and rotate it the other way so that your curve is on the right side. So now you can see I can release here. And then now my curves will be going in the right direction every time. So again, before I click, I can now hold down shift and it will stretch out my curve. I want my handle to hit that eight. And again, stretch out my curve. So just to recap, I'm going to go ahead and delete it. If in the beginning, when you start, if your curve is going the wrong way, now this time mine is going the right way, what you might need to do is hold down the Alt option where your handles are and go ahead and rotate your handles around. Okay, so I'm holding down Alt option and I have my mouse over a handle and that helps me to switch so my curve is the other direction. Okay, to come off when you're done, if you can't seem, if you don't close a shape and you still have a line, you're going to go ahead and click to your selection tool, which is your black mouth, and click off of it. Now you can use your space bar to move over to another part. So in this one, we're going to make um, curved lines. So I'm going to click and press so that I have my handle to the two. Now I'm going to come into my three. And again, you can see my twist is the wrong way. So I'm going to do my Alt option. And I'm just going to rotate from the center the other direction. And now curve the right way. Three to four. Now I'll come to five and click press so I can bring my curve out, bring my handle to the six. Now I'm going to look for my seven which is here. Click holding, holding, drag to the eight and I would continue along in this manner until I close my shape. Come to 10, 11 to 12, and my last mark again would be up here with the circle next to the pen tool to know I've closed my shape. Okay, curves with corner points. So I'm going to click in my one, drag down, it says hold down shift key to my two, to my three, press on the anchor point, hold down my shift key, five, hold down my shift key, seven, whoops, I have got a curve in there. So what I'll do in this case is I can come in, grab just my handle, and go ahead and get it we lined up. Now I know that this was my last point, so if I come back to my pen tool, I can touch that point. You can see the line means go ahead and reconnect with the anchor, and this time I can come into my nine and finish my curve. Alright, so that's how you would complete the first page of this assignment.